Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Proverbs 190. The proverb today is to marry in haste and repent in leisure. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone says marry in uh, haste and repent in leisure, uh, it means if someone marries too quickly uh, without truly knowing their spouse, uh, including one's personality, background, etc., one may regret it for a very, very, very long time. Right, let's continue. Haste means to do something in a hurried manner, so often without enough time to be careful. If one re repents, it means one recognizes uh, and admits one did something wrong that he or she is ashamed of. Uh, and sorry about it. Well, let's continue. Leisure refers to the time when you are not working and should be relaxing. But if you're in an unhappy marriage, your leisure may not be very pleasurable. If you come home and you're not happy with your spouse, uh, you may be paying a price for a very, very long time. All right, let's continue. Uh, the origin of the proverb is believed to come from uh, a quote by William Congreve in his comedy, The Old Bachelor. Uh, here is the quote, Thus grief still treads upon the heels of pleasure. Married in haste, we repent in leisure. Okay, so basically he's saying, uh, the, uh, maybe like, you know, chasing the heels of pleasure, you know, just to maybe just to have sexual pleasure or something. If you're doing it just for that reason, you may you may end up regretting it. Uh, all right, let's continue. Uh, therefore, if you marry in haste, you may end up in an unhappy marriage. Today, many will probably get a divorce, but you still may pay uh, a price financially. A divorce is very expensive. Uh, you know your status your reputation, you know, because then you have to say that you were divorced before. There, it's always a feeling that you failed somehow or you didn't, you weren't wise to get into this relationship. Lost time, yeah, depending upon how long it took you before you finally broke up. Uh, all of these things cost you in many, many ways. All right, and let's, we just have a couple of examples here. Uh, example number one, you are still young. Uh, take your time before settling down. Don't rush into marriage. Remember, marry in haste and repent in leisure. Okay, good. And a second one here. No wonder they broke up. They only knew each other for a few days before they tied the knot. That's another way that we say to get married, tie the knot. I guess it's true. Marry in haste and repent in leisure. Okay, anyway, I uh, hope you got it. Hope it's clear. Hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.